Hello, my name is Ashley Share. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to do a 10 minute meditation for incarcerated women, part of our Visualizing Your Success series, which is part of our RYT 200 yoga teacher training program, um, which includes 50 hours of professional essentials guidance, um, so teaching job skills. So this meditation is about bringing clients to your door. Please make yourself comfortable you can close your eyes or have a soft gaze. You can sit crisscross applesauce on the side of the bed or in a chair. Just try to keep your spine long and strong. Imagine a string coming from the crown of your head all the way up and a string also pulling you down from your tailbone. Take a slow, deep breath, letting go of any tension and allowing yourself to sink in into the surface that you're resting on, becoming still more comfortable and relaxed. Take another slow, deep breath, releasing any thoughts and letting them drift far away. Take another slow, deep breath and know that in this moment, all as well. Imagine you're walking through the door of your place of business, but as you step across the threshold, instead of the usual setting, you immediately find yourself in a beautiful mountain meadow of waving grass surrounded by tall evergreen trees. It's a crisp summer day and in the alpine breeze, you sense the smell of pine and wildflowers. You can hear the sound of a bird song and the gentle current of a nearby stream. Everything here is calm and peaceful, a place and time created just for you. In the center of the meadow, there's a wide staircase of stone with seven steps, each of a different color, leading up to a stage made of rock. And upon that stage rests a large searchlight, the kind you might see at the opening of a special event, not yet turned on. As you come closer, you'll see that each step has something written upon it. The first step is red. And as you step onto the red step, its words come into focus. And you read, I am qualified. And as you stand on the red step, consider all the groundwork that you have done to make your work professional. Your education and training and any equipment or furnishings related to your work qualifies you to offer your services to the world. Life experiences count too. Overcoming adversity counts. Take a moment to reflect on the foundation that you have laid and feel the solid strength that it brings. And you feel flooded with confidence by this red color of the step and the words, I am qualified. Try it out. Listen to the sound of that. I am qualified. The second step is orange. And as you step upon the orange step, its words come into focus and you read, I offer value. And as you stand on the orange step, you know that with all that you have to offer, your new clients will really see the value and be very satisfied. You echo to yourself, I offer value. The third step is yellow. And as you step upon this step, the words come into focus and they are, I am confident I can help. As you step on this step, you know, because of all your training, all your life experiences, all the hardship and adversity that you have overcome, that people will come to you for help and that you will be able to help them. Take a moment to reflect on all the people that you've helped and you feel the satisfaction it brings to you 
as you repeat the words, I am confident I can help. The fourth step is green. And as you step upon this green step, the words come into focus and you read, I am likable. As you stand on the step, you know that you are. And your good feelings towards other people, that people like you. And you feel a happiness this brings and you repeat the words, I am likable. Even if you don't believe it, there are studies that show that if you repeat it, that um, you will eventually believe it. So sometimes we have to fake it until we make it. The fifth step is blue. And as you step upon the blue step, the words come into focus, I am fair. And you put your hands on your hips and you feel a sense of satisfaction. I am fair. And the sixth step is purple. And as you step onto this purple step, the words come into focus and you read, I appreciate people. Reflecting on a moment that you have appreciated someone, you confirm this step. I appreciate people. The seventh step is violet. And upon this violet step, the words come into focus and you read, I deserve success. And you stand on the step knowing that you are a good person and that you deserve success. And you deserve to have whatever it is that you are seeking and be happy. And if there is anything within you that speaks to the contrary, with an exhale, you let it go and repeat the words, I deserve success. Stepping up to the rock stage where the spotlight rests, you feel more clarity than ever before. You look out in the spotlight and you'll see a lever currently set to the off position. Once you turn the spotlight on, you'll be setting into motion a chain of events that will bring clients to you as many as you wish. This is just a mindfulness exercise. I always say that um, things happen twice in life. That's not exactly true, but it's a metaphor we use. So I always say the first step is visualization and the second step is actualization. This meditation is not magic. It doesn't like automatically bring anybody clients, but it is an exercise to get you into the mindset of visualizing clients coming to you. And once you get into that mindset, then that kind of gets your A game on so that you can use your creativity and hard work to really make it happen. Um, it's just like a, like a little boost, um, but obviously in life, there's no guarantees, but what would the fun of life be if, if, uh, if we didn't have the struggle, right? So we have to look at it with curiosity. Imagine your future clients as if they are stars in the sky, each seeing and recognizing your beam of light and connecting with you energetically. Take a few moments to observe this unfolding. Now imagine that the meadow, the stone staircase and the spotlight changes back to your place of business and you're there welcoming new client after new client. Each person has somehow heard about you knew you that you were the right person for them and has found their way to you they're coming from every direction near and far now fill your ideal scene further and imagine yourself enjoying each new client and appreciating them being grateful for the work that they bring envision your ideal balance of work and rest and, re and recreation time and imagine yourself enjoying that balance, working as much as you'd like, resting when you need to. Take a few moments now to consider any steps you need to take in this world to bring this vision into reality. This might include networking, even in a custodial situation, write a letter to someone um, that you think can help you. Maybe it's a minister, maybe it's a community member, maybe um, it's a relative, but um, you know, you can build your network through correspondence, even in a custodial situation. It is now time to bring this journey to a close. Take a few moments 
to take a deep breath. Namaste.